That's a huge upset. And might I point out another SoCal defender kicking the invaders off their turf. We've seen that time and time again. And today we saw Ketchup take down Light. We saw AC take down Chag. It keeps happening over and over. These guys are showing up and showing out and saying, and you this know, is our home. I'm glad that it's happening. Not only because I'm like from SoCal and I'm like, yeah, SoCal, SoCal. Um, but because SoCal has been the whooping boy for so long. Hashtag SoCal region. sucks. Yes, I, hashtag SoCal sucks. But now, guess what? Hashtag SoCal doesn't suck. They are putting up numbers. They are getting the placements that matter, and they're I mean, making it into top eight. What do you got to say about the fact that you've got a NorCal player in winners finals? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Either way, though, we are going to be getting into game number one. Cosmos with the Pyra and Mithra of the Aegis taking on Fatality and his trademark Blood Falcon starting it out on the Smashville. Really, really good stage for both of these characters, but honestly, I would give the edge to Fatality here. Dude, I honestly, I'm nervous for Cosmos because Ooh. I want to see what he's, what is essentially his, his game plan is against Fatality. As you can see, we're starting here on Smashville. Not really the harder stage for most players, but again, like this, the center platform is going to play a major role of this of this game. Well, and something that's been being talked about a lot recently, especially with Leo's, uh, Leo's Pyro and Mithra and Spargo's Pyro and Mithra, is, is this character one of the best in the game? And honestly, I think she's really, really good. She's not top three, and there's one reason for it. It's her recovery. Her, her recovery is questionable at best sometimes. But at the same time, you know what? Mithra. Mithra, 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 Mithra. Mithra. When Pyra comes out, though, yo, all right, It's like a truck. If she does hit like a truck. She does have the confirms that can obviously lead into kills. But at the same time, these linear recoveries are killing me. Oh, oh, comes back just barely avoiding fatalities there. And that's the big thing is that a character like Captain Falcon with that fantastic aerial mobility and those fantastic edge guarding tools, if Cosmos isn't careful, he could get caught out off stage by something like a dare. And Fatality's certainly looking for it, but so far, Cosmos has been flawless with his recovery back to stage. Oh, okay, okay. Definitely got to look out for those, uh, those witch times. Comes back though, Fatality holding on to center stage right now, gets the F throw. Going to send Cosmos right back off, trying to take the opportunity to show us Ooh. just how much Mithra recovery sucks. Doing it right then and there, catching the tip of the back air. See, all you needed was a sour spot. You didn't even need the sweet spot of back air, the hard hit. You just needed to give him a little love tap, and Mithra was gone. 77% extra credit on Fatality, though. He's going to have to work very, very hard to bring it back, especially against a character as strong as Mithra. She's lightweight, she's fast, she's got witch time, and she combos so hard. There's the witch time, or yeah. the bat within, rather, foresight. right there, the foresight. Foresight's so strong, but with no jump, guess what? You are one dead so, Aegis. I'm going to keep calling back to it because I'm tired of people saying this character's top three. That recovery's so, so exploitatable, and, Ooh. well, Cosmos oh, also oh. exploiting Fatality's recovery. You know, this is this is what I signed up for. This is what I wanted to commentate. Let me see two high impact damaging characters just destroying each other. Everyone loves a big combo character. We've got two of them on screen right now. 3% separates them, but Fatality oh, making oh. the distance. Gets the Nair into the fair Cosmos on the back foot. And as he tries to get back to stage, Fatality with a fantastic dare to take game one. And that's honestly why I, want, I said at the beginning of this set, what is Cosmos' game plan going to be against Fatality? Because yes, this character, Mithra does damage. Yes, Pithra. <laughs> Pyra. Pyra. Oh, too much Ruby. Uh, Pyra. Um, Pyra hits like a truck, has the kill confirms, and of course has a great vertical recovery. However, when you are not below the stage, when you are forced to recover uh, in any other direction, essentially, you are going to be at Fatality's mercy. So you want to hear something really funny? Well, Fatality yeah, told me he was going to do that last night. Um, I mean, I have no doubt. He, I, I'm sure he's done that like, a thousand that's, times. That's just <laughs> how you kill uh, Mithra when she's off stage. As soon as she goes for that side B, just dare her. It's so easy. It's yep. so doable for just about any character with a good meteor dare. And for this game number two, we're going to be running it to Cosmos' counterpick of Town and City. Okay, so if Cosmos can actually maintain his stage control and just continue to pressure Fatality, we maybe we see a different outcome on the game, but at the same time, this is Fatality we're talking about. This dude has been destroying people. Oh, okay, that was actually a great catch and a good early recovery from Fatality, being able to dodge the up B from Mithra. 
Tries to come back up to stage though with the uppy and is going to be able to get that grab, but Cosmos doing a great job of trying to use that disjoint to keep Fatality boxed out. Really good aerial drift there though, preventing Fatality from getting caught by Cosmos' follow-up. Oh, uh, was that actually like a stage? Was that the stage coming no. in clutch or was that the stage putting the hurt on Fatality? I don't know if you know this last, but the neutral B from Mithra is busted. What? Busted! Speaking busted. of busted, busted! Fatality with the short hop fair to take down Cosmos' stock. No extra credit gotten. Busted! Busted! Gets the jab. <laughs> this is probably one of the closest games we'll see all night, Z-Fly. Oh man, this is this is what I wanted to see. I'm I am one happy commentator seeing Fatality versus Cosmos. You know what? If we could see a first to ten with these two players, I would be. I would just love it. I would absolutely love to see that. And hey, if you're watching the VOD later, Fatality, do that for some great stream content. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely do that for some great stream content for sure. But love the Nair from getting up to ledge. That's going to put the pressure onto Cosmos, even sending him to the other side of the stage, allowing you to recover. Okay, but what do you do now, Fatality? Well, he gets caught by the landing there. I think that did shield poke, because I'm pretty sure that's kind of brutal there. Cosmos gets the grab, but Fatality with the roll behind and just down smashes in neutral, gets it, sends Cosmos off stage. This is going to be a tough spot to recover from. Gets oh, the stage dead. spike too. Not ready for the tech whatsoever, and down he goes. So dead is that Aegis. And honestly, you know what? When we when we start seeing a little bit, Ooh, get him! Ah! <laughs> Not gonna die, but well, it sure felt like it. That that was like the. Ooh, okay, that's new. I, I like that. I haven't seen that before. Have you seen that last? I have seen that before, but it still surprises me every time. That down tilt to two frame right into the down smash to kill. Yeah. So honestly, like whenever it comes to like these tech chases, especially at higher percents, I'm looking for Cosmos to abuse the neutral B, like we saw earlier in game two. Because Ooh. that move is so good. It has low recovery. It has a lot. It can like uh, it has a wind box that like pulls you in. It has a hit box from behind. It extends as the sword starts swinging. I want to see more of that. I love Fatality's upbees though. Every single one of them hits. The Falcon dives always meet their mark. Going below the stage to try and recover oh, and gets the roll doing? through the run up down smash and Cosmos finding himself in a little bit of trouble. But Fatality goes way off stage looking for the dare and very nearly meets his maker for it. You know what, Fatality with the down air is, is what is giving Cosmos a second chance at life. And with with Pyro that we see on stage right now, whoo! Yeah, I mean, woo. you can't like talk about Pyro without talking about how big her down air is and how the entire thing is a meteor hitbox. Like the, it's oh. it's so brutal. She needs it. She, she, she needs it. it. But speaking of what she needs, a back air to the face is not that. She gets back up onto the stage with the side B though, and Fatality needs to find a way to take this stock soon. A back throw will do it. A back air will do it. Just about any of Falcon's big hits will. But yeah, Cosmos. Okay, we're gonna see the upbeat out of shield, but no, we see an up smash out of shield and a slight pop off from Cosmos. Let's go, Cosmos. He's giving himself a little pat on the back, a little. That was hard. That was hard. He actually, he actually should have lost that game as soon as he committed to side B. We saw Fatality go for like the long meaty uh, knee to either like either get the sweet spot or just get the sour spot even and push Mithra far enough away so that she wouldn't be able to recover. Yeah, Fatality just kind of a little bit too over eager to try for that stock there. And well, that's how people lose games at the top level. That one critical mistake, a good player will turn it all around and make sure that, well, everything falls apart after that one mistake. Now, getting into game three. Oh, you hear what I hear. Oh. Yo, that's my jam right there. One Winged Angel, probably one of my favorite songs just of all time. I'm so happy it's in Smash. <laughs> and we're going to Northern Cave. Yes, take us to Northern Cave where all the clips happen. All the coolest clips happen on Northern Cave, dude. And speaking of cool clips, Cosmos off the bat going yeah. for one right there. 43% and still counting. Chases Fatality, but he's just barely able to evade the, the laser hit boxes coming out. Yeah, and that's actually a similar setup that we saw Cosmos go for earlier in the set. Like, it seems like Fatality is very aware that Cosmos wants to do that. I don't know who he's been practicing uh, against that plays Mithra and Pyra, but he is very aware of uh, some of the edge guard tools that Mithra has. As little as they are, he's aware of them. Yeah, but barely avoiding that F smash coming out for Cosmos, trying to chase, Woo! but that scoop! I've oh. seen that scoop way too many times when Fatality is playing, and every single time that little voice in my head goes, why, Sakurai? Why does it scoop from all the way off stage? But speaking of all the way off stage, Fatality caught with that huge dare hitbox, and Cosmos evens up the stock count. Even getting a, 
getting a parry of his own and putting a little bit of hurt onto 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 a uh, fatality. And look at that. You can see Cosmos actually delaying the up B laser shots, trying to snipe out fatality. Unsuccessful again, but every time he does it, it's going to adjust the time that fatality uses it. Yeah, he really, really likes using that lightning, uh, not lightning buster, rather ray of punishment to go up way high to try and catch Fatality, but instead, Fatality with the neutral get up into the down smash catches Cosmos going a little bit too over aggressive. Okay, I like the down smash from Cosmos. Woo! Yep, forcing Fatality off stage. That down smash actually covered the entire platform, which is what allowed Cosmos to really continue to put the hurt with Pyra. Now resetting back to neutral, Cosmos gets the dare off air, the classic Pyra and Mithra setup. We've seen it literally every single set that Pyra and Mithra is in since her uh, release in Smash, and I don't think we're going to stop seeing it anytime oh, soon. Please, please, don't stop the hurt. Don't stop. Now, though, Cosmos in a great position. Woo, what was that? Fatality with the full hop dare catching Cosmos trying to do the pivot grab there. Okay, we're putting a little bit of extra damage with the... Ooh, holding down just to make sure that we got the command grab on the Cosmos. Fatality being able to recover. Okay, here we go, up. here we Woo! go. I like the attempt. If that had caught, that definitely would have been one dead Fatality. Fatality, though, getting the dash attack in. He tries for Nair 1. I know for a fact he oh, wanted Nair yeah, 1 Nair, knee. Nair 1 knee, for sure. <laughs> he wants Nair 1 knee oh. so bad, but Cosmos not going to give it to him here. And now trying to get the dare on Fatality again. We've seen it take so many stocks. Fatality shield shrinking away, but still holding on to it confidently. Great DI from Cosmos, holding out to make sure that he was not going to be in range for the knee. Actually getting a punish of his own, but here we go. Can you do it again? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Almost getting the kill there, but still, it's not over yet. As he's going for the dare, and he finds it right then and there. Fatality, clutching victory from the jaws of defeat, taking game number three, and on to match point. Yeah, you know what? I got to gotta put some respect on Fatality's name. He didn't go for the meaty nair this time. He didn't go for that lingering hitbox, which it doesn't matter where Mithra ends up, it's going to get hit if the knee is out. This time, go for what's going to end the game. Go for what you practice. Go for what you know works. And as someone who played several games versus Fatality, both last night and this morning before Bracket, getting on the stage against Fatality might be one of the hardest things in this game. Oh, dude, that Once is, he's got you off just stage. the hardest thing in this game, period. There, there are very few people out there who I would say are some of the best ledge trappers in the game. Jackal from New York is one of them. Sonics is another fantastic ledge trapper. And Fatality, they're all some of the best in the game. And once you go off stage against them, believe me, you're going to pay to get back up on. You know, I'm just going to add one more name to that list. If you haven't tried to get off a ledge against Void, oh yeah, oh boy, that is that is not a, that's a completely different game. But you know what, Cosmos and Fatality, they are scrapping on the left side of the stage. Hey, left side, best side, man. Going to come back down with the knee though, or the nair rather, preventing Fatality from connecting with the knee and Ooh. the down tilt to two frame into the F smash, oh. chasing so far in the ray of punishment. Not going to be the stock Fatality, just barely magnet hands back on. Okay, using the double jump and trying to land the down air. I like it. The Ray of Hope may not have been what ended the stock, but guess what? It still, uh, it's still led to Fatality taking a ton of damage. It's And it's always, always, always a huge threat that Fatality needs to keep in the corner of his mind. Speaking of keeping it in the corner of his mind, he actually, I think he might have missed the tech on purpose there so that he could up be back to stage. Perhaps. But here we go. 149%. It is definitely time for... There one knee. Yeah. Oh man. Even with the four there from center stage, that didn't kill. No. I, still holding onto the stock, 163%, and it's finally put to rest by Cosmos. Z Fly, we might be looking at another game five, and well, we already said it. This is exactly what we want to see here this at the is, Summit Last Chance Ball. This is what I want to see. This is what I expect. This is what the people signed up for. The good people at home. This is for you. Ray of Punishment off stage though, and that's going to make it much more difficult for Fatality to get back on. But that Falcon Kick, he's going to try and use it to cover space and also maybe take a stock. Yeah, the Falcon Kick, I think that's the first time we've actually seen it in this set. So Fatality Ooh. hanging onto a cool tool that he has not been able to use quite yet. Starting to, we're starting to see those, you know, those aces up the sleeves come out. 
though this time not going to be able to get that edge guard that he's been making such liberal use of, but wow. instead it's the up out of shield. It's something that people always forget. Falcon and Ganon, both of their uppies are command grabs, and both of them are very usable out of shield. you got to be careful just running up and shielding versus I Falcon. I am so surprised that Fatality actually got that uppie out of shield, though, because Cosmos had committed to a roll, which means that Fatality had to react after he inputted the up B to switch it to the other side and get the command grab on the Cosmos. I wasn't ready for it. Guess what? Cosmos wasn't ready for that. I can tell. Whoa. But the up air lands, yes. We saw Fatality land a couple of up airs of his own, up airs of his own and able to sneak in the up air. And that's going to take the stock. Here we go. The ledge trap oh. from Cosmos, though. There you go. Hold the jab. Get a bunch of damage. Just barely missing the grab, too. And I think that grab is probably more so what Cosmos wanted. He'll take the jab, though. He'll take the damage. And Fatality will take a lot more going off stage, getting caught by that ray of punishment. And what was that? Oh, that was a nair and a command grab clanking from each other, which essentially put Cosmos back into free fall. Cosmos now getting stuck off stage, though he's going to have a hard time, but the, the rising hitbox of Ray of Punishment is going to make sure that Fatality doesn't have the opportunity he wants. Tries to check, uh, tries to read the roll Ooh. with the bear, but Foresight gets him out of the test stomp knee. Instead, it's going to be an up smash in Fatality. He's got Cosmos onto last stock. He's one flashy combo away from taking this set, but Cosmos, he's the one who's been in the driver's seat this whole time. Yeah, falling there, that's going to be the... The dealer's choice of tools from Cosmos is really going to allow uh, Cosmos to have a hitbox out, putting putting Fatality back into more of a defensive position. Here we go. Now that Pyra's out, though, I don't know. Nair's not going to be the same. Pyra being out is going to make neutral Ooh! a whole lot harder, That's but right. it doesn't matter. That hits platform. That Why? explosion has a hitbox. I completely forgot. Fatality completely forgot. Everyone, I I don't know about you last. I thought that was a wave. I thought we were about to see like a down air or a falling up air into a knee. But guess what? I think Cosmos was the only one that was like, yeah, this is going to hit, baby. Cosmos was 10 steps ahead of me, you, everyone in the venue. And because of that, we're going to game five, pulling out the Genova song <sighs> counter pick this time as we the had final to boss, once of course. again. The final boss song has to be of what gets played in game five. No Sephiroth on our screen, but these two players are certainly some of the biggest bosses of the Smash Brothers Ultimate scene. That's true. Depending on which side you're on, you are definitely playing against or being the big boss here. Hey, let's go both players. Let's I'm a big fan of both of them. Both players for sure. Fatality trying to get the Nair back up onto stage, not going to connect to Cosmos. It's some fantastic spacing there to stay back. Yeah, Cosmos landing a couple of his Nairs. But really, not being able to get the extension from the forward airs to the back airs. Tries for the F-Smash there, going to take the up as a punish. Ooh. And whoa, Fatality chasing, making that very dangerous, trying to get the down air. But Cosmos still, he's holding on to this. He's using his disjoints to his advantage, and he's keeping Fatality juggled. As long as Fatality is struggling to touch down on the ground, that's when Cosmos is in his sweet spot. Do you see the approach just, like, completely change once we see the character switch? Like, you see uh, Fatality being, like, super hyper-aggressive against Mithra, but as Ooh. soon as we see the character switch, as soon as we see that red color come out, guess what? Fatality pulls back. He's a little bit more reserved in his approach, and as you can see oh. why, woo, that's, what would it, that's the Fatality I know. Up air, into the knees. I've seen it a million times, and I, by God, I hope I see it a million more because it's hype every single time. Fatality clutching out that stock, bringing us to a perfectly even second stock for game five here. Oh, great. Great uh, punishment, getting a 50-50 and essentially getting uh, punishing the air dodge with, an, with the jabs. Fatality now on the hunt once again. Trying to get the jab there oh. though. Fatality going to punish it with stomp and dash attack. That's a new one. Yeah, I think Cosmos just being a little bit too low to really get much from the stomp. He was above him, got the Falcon dive down, tries for the stomp, can't find it off stage. Cosmos does regain center stage, but by God, was it looking dangerous for a moment. Yeah, I challenge you to show me an angle from which the uh, Falcon up B doesn't work. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> None of them Except work. Maybe They're, like across the stage. They all work. They all work all the time. Gets the F throw to put Cosmos off once again, but he's still, he's been so confident getting back up onto stage. No way dash attack kills. But Nair will, Nair will absolutely kill there, catching oh. Fatality on the platform. Yeah, and what a good character switch from Cosmos. Bringing in Pyra in the midst of his recovery, really sneaking it in, which allowing the Nair uh, for being so strong from Pyra. And then, of course, switching back to, to Mithra. Now, 
Fatality Woo! getting a nair of his own. I can't believe that nair killed from center stage. Sure, Mithra was super high percent, but still, nair? Really? Nair. Yeah. I think like just about every every move from, from uh, Captain Falcon can actually kill. Uh, this character is uh, some kind of strong. Very, very good in this video game, especially after the semi-recent buffs. It's actually been a while now. Fatality actually able to fall through the platform to avoid the full hit of that rapid jab, but Cosmos still very much in control here. Tries to chase off stage with the Lightning Buster instead. Going to find the Ray of Punishment. Keeps Fatality just ticking up over and over in damage. He can't find a break. And look at the way that Cosmos continues to use the neutral B on these platforms. He does it. He pushes, Cos or he pushes Fatality off, then he chases with the neutral B. Are we going to see another neutral B? We haven't like seen it. it from Pyra just yet. Woo! That's it, that's it. Pyra and Mithra, no! Fatality with some of the best DI I've seen in this game. Gets oh, a second oh. chance, but Cosmos does not care about second chances. Immediately rips it away with the second up air, and he moves on to 